Here is the stealth crossbow from Petron, the amazingly accurate toy that lives up to its reputation of never miss again. To assemble, you will need a medium sized Phillips screwdriver. The first thing you're going to do is take the prod, which is this piece, and place it into the bow body. Make sure the string is on top of the bow, then insert the prod with the larger cut inserted into the bow body. It should now look like this. Next, you will need to take the clamp plate and screw out of the poly bag which includes the darts. Place the clamp plate over the prod, then insert the screw into the hole, then tighten with the Phillips screwdriver. The prod should now be secure. That's assembly complete. Now let's see how to charge, load and shoot the bow. To charge the bow, draw the string back with two fingers, one either side of the bow body, so that the string drops into the slot at the back of the barrel. The stealth crossbow is equipped with a safety trigger mechanism which you can see under the rear sight. This mechanism means you can only fire a Petron sucker dart which makes it super safe. If you pull the trigger now, the bow will not shoot as the string is held back by the safety mechanism. If this happens, simply pull the string back into the slot behind the safety mechanism. We are now ready to load the bow. Insert a Petron sucker dart underneath the rear sight with the fins in the necks like this and push the dart fully back so the safety mechanism is released. The bow is now ready to shoot. The stealth crossbow has a light trigger so you need to be careful where you're pointing the bow. Do not aim at people, especially faces, pets or anything delicate. Basically be sensible and be careful. The official Petron sucker dart will stick onto any shiny surface like the box, the official target or even something like a whiteboard or fridge. The stealth crossbow is very accurate because of its front and rear sight. Take aim by lining the middle of the target with the front and rear sight. If you're shooting at anything about 6 meters away, then you should be pretty much on target. Gently squeeze the trigger and let the dart fly. If the dart does not strike exactly where you want it, just adjust your aim and never miss again.